Thank you, Jim sure. here. Uh, H.R. 3200 frames. Under H.R. 3200, page 16, section 102, it says, and I'll quote, the individual health insurance issuer offering such coverage does not enroll any individual in such coverage if the first elective date of coverage is one or after the first day of Y1. This means that employers cannot enroll new employees into their existing supplier health insurance programs. The bottom line is the public option will eventually eliminate employee supplied health insurance and will be only available and will be the only health insurance option for new business employees. I have two questions. How can you stand there and mislead the American people by alluding that the public option will not impact the existing employer supplied health insurance? And my second question is, if the public option is so great for us, will Congress and all new employees, new Congress of the federal government be automatically enrolled in the public option? Um, thank you, Ted. I've heard those questions before, almost in those same words. Uh, yeah, they, thank you for those uh, prepared questions. Um, uh, yes, they were. Uh, but but uh, let me just say, let me just say, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, federal employees are going to be subject to whatever the reforms are in this bill. Although there aren't a lot of uh, changes proposed to the federal employee health care program, as a matter of fact, it is seen as a model for trying to create an exchange for others. Now, your assertion about the public option is simply not true. Nobody in this legislation is forced ever to elect the public option. It does create a public option. You don't have to use it. Now, we talked about the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, just a little while ago. The Congressional Budget Office says that the creation of a public option will save consumers $150 billion a year um, and because it creates competition in the insurers. Uh, it also points out that primarily Creating this new exchange isn't to force or prevent existing employers from providing or adding. They can continue to add. That provision doesn't mean that. But what it, what it does do is create an option for those who are uninsured. And uh, uh, what they estimate is that two-thirds of the current uninsured people in America would opt for private insurance. And maybe as many as one-third might opt for the public option. It's their choice. No one's going to force them to do it. 